Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the NC Charlotte 49ers and the Duke Blue Devils. Number three is a special player who's capable of leading this team in any given contest. This young man can really put the ball in a hole. Whether he's inside or outside, he's money. The Blue Devils will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Blue Devils should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second of all, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. And lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Kicks it out. The shooting guard receives the pass. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. There's a double team waiting there. The power forward receives the ball. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Top of the circle. Frierson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. And he missed. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Definitely a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Tickles a twine. Crumb handles the feed. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and passing the block. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Dumps it in. The skip pass is picked off. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Trying to go inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Puts up the tray. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Steal. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He tries to knock down the three. He takes the rebound. Got a nice screen. He attempts the trifecta. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Royal is animated and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Double team now, that angle. They look to get it to the inside. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Pull-up jumper from way out. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. On the outside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Look at that spacing. Newton handles the pass. There's the pick. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Launches away. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Trying to feed inside. They work it around the perimeter. He's got some room from way outside. Makes the shot. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. He lets it go. He gets the bucket to fall. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. For two, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Here's a nice fit. Gets the rejection. And buries it. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. He makes a nice shot fake. They move it into the front court. Goes out of bounds. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Crumb fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. High post player flashing. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a high screen.
Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of play. Three. You betcha. Hold on. Let's see that again. One on the shot clock. He draws a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right. Thanks, Aaron. job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck where's he going he was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal a questionable decision though on his part because it resulted in the foul God, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. He takes it away. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. the shot he up fakes he fires away he buries the shot the Blue Devils have a player spotting up on the three he takes the shot he nails the shot Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's the trap. Takes it off him. He rejects it. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Let's get a replay, baby. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> the student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Isn't it great, Brad? Makes it.
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Now the high screen. Bump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. And he'll kick it back outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He comes away with it. Fast break possibility coming for the bucket. He drains it. Working around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Takes the shot off the baseline. Sinks it. I want to see that again. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Let's it fly. Way off target. Goes up for two. Up and inside. Intercepted. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no no. Newton steps to the line for the first time. Makes the first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. High post blocks it. There they come with a double team to stop it. On the outside, looks at the three. Off the rim and no good. Look out, defender is smacked by that screen. They work the perimeter. He goes for three. He drains the bucket. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pushing that basketball. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Let me hear you say replay, baby. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Puts up the shot. Way off target. Comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Puts it up. Oh, yes. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. He was 
Bruins applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Looking for a good shot. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes away the pass. Fakes it. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The fake. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a double team waiting there. Attempts the three. He gets the shot to fall. Watch here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. He gets the rejection. Nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Picked out of the air. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Up fake. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Nice fake. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Jumped in front to take it away with a deep pass. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. We're going to move it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. He gets the bucket. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. With a big shot, way off target. At the half, the 49ers are down by four. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? In my opinion, Mr. Nestler, this by Fechner is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Duke did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys are given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. 
Dick as a coach heading into the second half focused player update and uh, you know what it takes what is it going to take for this young man well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line and that'll come if he becomes aggressive entry pass in the paint I think they're trying to make a statement and there's a look at the backcourt comparison Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw some contact. He gets it to fall. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and spin back the other way. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Now the turnaround jumper. And off the mark. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here's a spin down to the low block. He posterized him. With the free one. Got it from the free throw line. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. From right in the circle, sinks the shot. Makes the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Galvin makes a tray. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. The ma'am is off the charts, Brad. Fakes a jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Oh, did they ever set that alley oop but nicely, Brad? Fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He'll go to the line after that vicious dunk, Dick. Vicious is right, Brad. That dunk brought me right out of my seat, baby. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. It's good.
lets it fly. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. Steals a pass. Pass intercepted. Hey, Brad, you can't follow a guy all the way across the court and expect to get a pass to him. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. seconds to put it up. He dials long distance. He gets that one to fall. The Blue Devils trail by five. The ball hander might be in trouble here. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And again, they look to run. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. NC Charlotte are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. He shoots from left of the circle. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Looking for a good shot. Tries one from three-point land. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. From the baseline, scorches the net. Almost lost the basketball. He fires it up. Way off target. They're working around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. For the bucket, basket falls despite the contact. Oh, 
on the outside. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He intercepts it. He's open if he wants the shot. He fires from long range. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. He puts up the three ball. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Takes away the pass. And now he finds right away, head up. Get the head up. Find the open guy. Give it off. Give the rock up. Tradition is big around these parts. A lot of passion and history. Years and years of success have built this program up to where it is today. Isn't it awesome, Brad? You walk into the building and you know you're somewhere special. Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Oh, well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes for the ball handler. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the outside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He shoots from long range. Gets it to go. off the pass and the slam he launches the bomb he hits it in the low block but opted against it goes up for two perfectly executed let's take a second look they'd like to get it inside to the low block Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick here in the second half. It's time again for our focus player update. And what have you seen from this young guy here so far in the second half? Well, I think he's got to respond like he has, but his teammates have to respond. He's carrying the club. Nobody else is stepping. I think they're all becoming like the Gothic man, taking pictures of him. For two, in and out. Taken away. Now coming down with numbers. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Oh, 
The Blue Devils have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Now they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They'll bring it up. Stolen. Number 35 with the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Picked off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the key. Drains it. Intercepted. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. He's money with a shot. Well, partner, this one could go right down to the wire. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. For two. Let's go to the videotape for that one. The shooting guard gets that one goes back from whence it came. The ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's a backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brian, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Controlling the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They work the perimeter, looking for a good shot. He launches the bomb. Duke are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. to pick up the defense here now. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Takes it off him. Coaching, too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. Great defense. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from left of the circle. 
They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He shows the sweet touch. Newton handles the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. Steele. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Duke have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Bobelson handles the pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Meeks pops a three ball. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Picks off the lazy pass. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, they'll probably be extremely happy. we got to roll that one back. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Looking for a good shot. Steals the pass. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. We're about ready to start things up again. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. In the, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries to get the D to bite. Robs him of the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shot clock is dead. Ivy receives the ball. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And the clock stopped with a foul. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. No doubt about it. Second shot is good. They need a basket here to turn this into a two-possession game. What kind of energy are we looking at? 
looking after that time out there. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He launches a three. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. And yet another foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Up and in. No doubt. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Number three is trying to get the crowd fired up. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. He misses his second shot. the most out of that timeout, Dick. He's auditioning for the halftime show with that shot. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Duke walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.